Hi, I'm Dr. Natasha Michael, and I'm currently Assistant Professor in Family Medicine. I'm also Director for the Oklahoma Center for Mentoring Excellence, and I am Director of Multicultural Engagement for the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and Community Engagement for the College of Medicine. Um, well, uh, family medicine um, is a really good field to get into if you want to learn about patients and about family and community. And so I'm really interested in the social determinants of health. And so in order to uh, make an impact in that field, I decided to go the route of family medicine. Oh, of course, I had a, a colleague, or should I say a mentor, Dr. Robert Salinas, who was in family medicine. And he let me know the opportunity in which I could um, really expand my research in family medicine uh, without being a uh, physician, because I am PhD trained. I have my background in educational psychology. So I needed to find a way to really make an impact here um, without seeing patients and getting into research. And this was the path, the right path to take. I would say a typical I would just say a typical week because I work in diversity, equity, and inclusion as well. Um, uh, has a lot to do with research and looking at different types of um, uh, current news that affects the community. As you know, we're in a pandemic right now. And so a lot of what's going on has really impacted the community in a negative way. A lot of problems that people didn't see that was happening in the community, they actually do see now. Um, we have so much farther to go than what people imagined. And so I think um, a typical week is just really navigating all the different problems that we have from day to day and really looking at some of the um, social impacts and, and how it's really affecting our communities now. I would say that uh, someone who wants to make an impact in which it is an indirect way, uh, we have to think about our community and the social impacts of that. Uh, poverty, uh, transportation, um, food insecurity is really important to social determinants of health. And um, what the field really conveys is that if your community is not healthy, uh, you really have problems that really go down the line. You'll see patients go back and forth into the hospital, really put an impact on the system. And so in order to um, really help mitigate those problems, you have to look at the social determinants of health. So you have to do research to understand the community and understand ways in which you can improve it. So I have a unique position in which I'm an administrator as well as a faculty member. So I work with different um, constituents across the campus when it comes to leadership and faculty and staff um, in all the different areas of our colleges here. Um, and so I get a, a chance to work with nurses and how that impacts um, the hospital system as well as leadership in ways in which we can employ different policies. So I get a, a different view of interdisciplinary. It's not just about the different um, fields of study here. It's also about the different leadership and administration and how it can all work together for our system. Other fields that um, we work with, I would say, would be our community leaders. Our community leaders are really important um, when it comes to supporting the social determinants of health and the healthcare uh, here in Oklahoma. And I would say our unique perspective for the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion is working with students. Um, we're really focused on uh, how the next generation matriculate into medical school and we want to make sure that all different ethnicities and, in and inclusive communities are considered here for medical school so we make sure we have programs to encourage everyone who's interested to have an opportunity if they see fit. Uh, yes, I did consider a lot of other careers. Um, I at one point thought about just staying in administration and not, you know, um, really going towards a full-time faculty position, but I understood that really to have an impact and to focus on research and really make a difference, family medicine was the, the place that I really belonged. Um, and I could say too, 
when it comes to my position of being a researcher here, you can go towards different fields. You don't have to just stay in family medicine. Uh, social determinants of health is in, uh, can be impactful in all the disciplines that we have here and all the different colleges. It's just really finding your opportunity. So it could be dentistry, it could be pharmacy, and you can apply yourself to looking at the social determinants of health and how it's impacted in pharmacy, how it's in, impacted in dentistry, you know, with healthcare, your mouth and um, the oral care. Uh, so there's different ways in which you can apply it. I just think that for me personally, um, when I think about my family and the impact of health on my family, it was the right fit for me. I would say um, they really have to consider all their options. I'm the type of person where if um, I choose something and I'm in it for a while and it doesn't quite feel right for me, it's okay to choose something else. So I would say to someone, take your time, explore your options and um, see what's the best fit for you. You can try out different things. You can start with family medicine and maybe it just isn't the right fit for you. But I think it's all about um, people who care about family, who are uh, interested in impacting the community directly would have a, a, a good um, choice in family medicine. But again, it's really um, something that someone has to decide for themselves. And I think you can't go wrong if you care about patients and care about healthcare. Yeah, I would say that because of my position as the director of Oklahoma Center for Mentoring Excellence, I think it's really important for you to have a mentor. I wouldn't have gotten as far as I did without a mentor in my life to be able to guide me because I have a unique position. I'm in a field of healthcare with all these positions around me and I'm PhD trained. So I think that having a mentor, you're gonna get to where you're gonna um, be more impactful. You'll get there faster and have a thriving career more with a mentor than not with a mentor. So make sure that you have someone who helps support your career and your personal life and um, I think that it makes you stronger and you build more um, relationships that way.